Hey, Unpaid Lunch listeners, you can find us on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and ad-free as a Prime member on Amazon Music. Find us on social medias and YouTube at Unpaid Lunch. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Unpaid Lunch. Everyone's here on my time today. This is going to be my show because, unfortunately, everyone is out right now on strike, standing in solidarity with sag But I'm hoping at some point we can all come to a compromise and get Andy P. and Dusty back in the studio. But in this time frame, I'm just going to have to sail with Monroe. Time to clock out for lunch. Welcome to Unpaid Lunch, and thank you for spending your break with me today. Um, you know, unfortunately, with all the union strikes and everything else going on with all the social media world and acting and everything all around us, uh, we were not able to get Dusty's contract picked up. So, oh, wait, no, I see a scab coming in right now. It looks like he's crossing the picket line. Hey, fuck everybody. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> uh, yeah, really, it's um, I just didn't write anything. So oh, and that's that feels thing. like I mean, that's I'm standing in solidarity with with my. Uh, I feel like it's a great so, lead in for the hell with, with my sag there. with my sag people. I'm, <laughs> I'm in solidarity. I didn't I didn't write a damn thing this week. It has nothing to do with uh, crippling anxiety. Or, um, it's because I'm standing with them. I know, I'm perfectly fine with that. Like when you stand with SAG after, do you do like the one, like the bloodline? <laughs> yeah, like just stand up one just hand slowly, just one finger up in the air, one hand. I wish up. you they're had all, like a hot key where you could just play Roman's entrance. They're right all now. confused. That'd be fantastic. That would be awesome. We or it just we said acknowledge me. Yeah, I'll make an acknowledge me one. Oh, I dig it. Yeah, just we acknowledge need me. We need that every time we have a guest, Zach. So, um, honestly. Zach was going to be here tonight. But he called uh, in. <laughs> but he called in. Still, which further <laughs> leads to his allure <laughs> as the greatest supporter of this podcast of all time. Yeah. Like, I'm to the point now, like, we don't give him a lunchie. We just make this motherfucker Hall of Famer. Yeah. Like, he just he goes, goes to the top to list. He's never he going to show up to accept the award. Getting, he's he's, he's going to call in. He's going to fucking call in. That's what's funny. He's just going to quit. We should hire him for the show. And let him quit. And let him quit. And then have him on as a guest about quitting. I support that. We yeah. well, I stayed in solidarity with that. <laughs> so, I think we say that probably too much. Uh, probably. But, you know, that's one thing that's been, you know, heavy on my brain over the last day or two is, you know, we are both very fat and lazy men. God, dang, I feel like that's rude. I think or that's I'm an just, attack. I guess. I, feel like I call it yeah. as I see it, man. You yeah. Know? I mean, you're not wrong, but. But what do fat and lazy men do? Eat. And? Drink. Watch a lot of shit on streaming devices. Yeah. I dread the next, uh, like, two years. However long it is. Like, I, I, I'm, that's one thing I've I've talked to another guy today. Um, like, what does the back catalog look like for a lot of these industries? And for those that are not connected to any of this, they're like, what the fuck are these guys talking about? Well, we about? just got caught up with COVID. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we just know that. There was that that was going on during COVID too. So right now, uh Unifying Body, which is basically a union for most theatrical film workers, whether it be people that operate boom mics, writers, you know, the whole shebang. If you look at someone on a film set that's working, they are normally part of a union. Unless it's like an indie film or something of that nature that's independently funded. I'm looking at you, Passion of the Christ. But <laughs> <laughs> That union's that union's different. That, is that the, union, the union of male. If you don't join that union, you go to hell. Mel Gibson. But so basically, one of the big things, and I, I, I kind of wish we had Andrew here for this episode because it'd be fantastic. Because he, he's it, on strike. Uh, he's on strike. Um, the man is all about some Chat GPT. Yeah. He loves some AI, and I think, I mean, <laughs> Which anyone is, that says it's not part of this union strike, it definitely is. Oh, yeah, like you can literally is. say, write a script about to chat GPT and it will write you a fucking movie. Quick. Quickly. Qu- quickly. It does. Quickly. It. Yeah. So that's one of the big things right now is a lot of the writers and things like that feel underappreciated, feel like they're kind of being taken advantage of, not financially compensated appropriately for their efforts. And with all the jokes of, 
you know, SAG standing with da, 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 truly do stand with these folks. Like oh, it's yeah. hard to be a shit on job podcast and not stand for. Yeah. It's a hundred percent. Like, <laughs> like, um, it's a hundred percent. Our, our brand right? oh, yeah. is, is you guys are not getting what you fucking need yeah. from the companies and you're not paid like the Mandy Moore thing talking about, mm-hmm. How much money she's made from uh, This Is Us or whatever is like pennies oh, it's or something. A, that's the big part of it, too, is Other royalties. than her initial check. Royalties. Right. royalties. Uh, nobody's getting royalties. Nobody right signs now. contracts Nobody. like Seinfeld Nobody. used to. No. Jerry makes a fortune. Oh, right? yeah. Jerry's like, he's like, everybody should be paid like me. He well, makes people are going back now and just saying, hey, you know, I'm not. I mean, look at Macaulay Culkin with Home Alone. Oh, yeah. Dude he, made no money off no of it. Money. What money he did do, make, he snorted it all. I've probably seen that movie 500 times. Oh, yeah. It's top three Christmas movie easily. What's your top three Christmas movies? My top three Christmas yeah. movies. Um, Jingle All the Way. Interesting is the, is the first one. Number just one. Yeah, just because I like Arnold when he's Turbo Man. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. And um, oh, so that's the Jingle All the Way is the one trying to find the action figure. Yeah. Ain't okay. It? Am I wrong about I that? I think you're right. No, that's right. That's yeah. That's Turbo is Man. It Jingle All the Way. Yeah. Turbo yeah. Man. I think yeah. you're right. And then um, the Tim Allen Santa Claus, right? Mm-hmm. I tell you what's really good. It's goaded. There, there's a really solid one on Netflix where um where it's uh Kurt Russell. Yeah. Is is mm-hmm. and it's and it's Goldie Hawn is so it's the original. It's very good. It's it's a really good movie. I really enjoyed that. That's that's a weird question. What month is it? Uh we just oh. came out in July. It plays. <laughs> it plays Christmas it plays. In, Christmas in August. Um I'm gonna be like the meme. It, it's die hard. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's not fair because it's die hard. I didn't know where you stood. It's die hard. It's a Christmas. Come out movie. to the coast. We'll have some fun. <laughs> Literally sitting here right now, making fists with my toes. Oh yeah. Try not to <laughs> in your carpet. Try not to have nerve pain. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad you're working through it and not striking. Uh, you know, you know, if this podcast would have better health insurance, then you know, <laughs> we'll our, see where that goes. Our health insurance is bourbon. I need some bourbon right I'm just now. Kidding. That'd be we fantastic. Don't, I'm just kidding. We're not drinking. There's <laughs> bourbon. I'm sure. I'm sure there's bourbon in there. <laughs> I'm sure there probably is. Uh, yeah, I think um, union is a touchy subject, right? When you're talking mm-hmm. like, because when you're talking about work, like that's like the one thing at work. Like if you mention it, oh, you're getting ostracized. Yeah, you're, so fast. You're gone. Like if you mention it, and and it's luckily I work at a place where I'm. I don't care. But yeah. you, you know what I mean? Like I, I work at a place that well, in, my, in the previous call center you worked at, the one I'm currently employed at now, there's been people bringing it up before. They did, really tried they to, they got blacklisted. Yeah, I'm sure. For quite, a, quite a while. No one ever Probably actually came out and said, hey, this person's not getting any advancement opportunities because they mentioned the word schmunion. Yeah. But <laughs> the problem is it would have to be like more than one of the same company. Like it had to, had to be oh, more yeah. than like, it'd have to be just like call center workers mm-hmm. of America. You know what yeah. I mean? You have to, and it's, it's funny because like the union is based around like the, the, the mob ran it. Right. Mm-hmm. That's, that's where it started. And it's it all protection. Like, yeah. It was all protection. Yeah. That's what it was anyway. And then like, I guess it turned into that's, it's more like an East coast thing, right? Like it's like steel workers union and, um, like I think that's who my wife's union is actually. It's a steel workers union, even though she's a nurse. Yeah. So But see, like even so like weird. like you talking about that, here's the way my brain is wired, and this is the way I've always been in life, is I'm a huge fan of just media of all facets, right? Oh yeah. You're sitting here talking about a union and it being protection. And I'm literally fucking thinking about Peaky Blinders. Can't get it out of my brain. Oh yeah, for sure. So like that's like that's why I'm so stressed out about this whole entire union or not union, sorry. Very pro union. The whole entire Hollywood based strike right now because if we don't have a good back catalog of shit to suffice over the next, you know, twenty four well, months. So I worry like I don't I don't I've not like read up on the progress. Like, I don't know if there's they, none if they, if from the last thing that I've heard that there's not a lot. So <laughs> how it was during COVID and like last year or everything blends together. Um, 21, we didn't have new movies, right? No, they were, it was stuff that was filmed like previously. 
And, and when we came back, I feel like we came back strong. Yeah, because everybody was just writing everything. Like, Stranger Things Season 4 was bomb. Like, yeah. it was so good. Well, I worry about shows not getting, like, I'm worried, so mm-hmm. worried about, like, all my favorite shows. Like, The Bear is my favorite show on mm-hmm. television right now. And, like, they're not just not going to have a Season 3. Well, they're saying Stranger Things Season 5 may not hit till 2026 now is what, something I saw. It's Those kids will be 40 years old? They're going to be 40 years old. They're going to yeah. be older than freaking David Harbour. Well, I think David Harbour today was like, um, I don't just want to be the Stranger Things guy anymore. Well, and I was like, you're not. You're uh, you're the Russian Captain America. <laughs> here's the problem. What's his name? Russian uh, Captain America? I don't. I've never watched. Where's Wesson when you need him? Yeah. He's, and Monroe's, he's on strike. Monroe's here somewhere. He's on track. Wesson's on track. Um, Wayne on track. I've not seen Black Widow. I'm not either. But here's one of those things, and it's kind of piggybacking back off the Disney episode that we just previously had, is I, my biggest struggle is Disney died with uh, Robert Downey Jr. The oh, Marvel Universe did. Marvel did, yeah. Marvel died completely when Iron Man snapped his freaking beautiful fingers. But, I mean, they've done a lot. I think what it's also kind of killed them as well, too, is they went to the streaming platform way too much and way too frequently. WandaVision was not my cup of tea. It wasn't my cup of tea, but I know a lot of people really enjoyed it. See, I enjoyed WandaVision, but I hated a couple other shows. Like, so this is probably a bad, this is probably a hot take, but like, I wasn't nuts about Loki. Like I liked Loki. I didn't like Loki. I, I liked it, but it was like, it was too much. There was too much going on. Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, I don't know what's happening. Like most Did of the time. Did not like Loki. Um, I felt like it kind of undermined a lot of the things that had already yeah. been set forth, which I mean, I get you got to do at some point to try to get a fresh take, but wasn't my cup of tea. Um, see, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier was aggressively mid because they had to change the whole script because of COVID. Microwave. Yeah, microwave. Okay. We don't have a... We, we've... Um, uh, our studio is... The they didn't clean it. The strike, right? I don't know. We're not in the studio. It's 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 in the dining room. It's a good people, trial. People got to warm their food up. I don't know. I don't know if that's a clap or a. <laughs> yeah, it's a trombone thing, but I didn't have anything ready. Yeah, that's fair. That's how I feel most of the time. That sound is how I feel most of the time. That's yeah, soundtrack of my life. <laughs> it's just that soundtrack. Of fall, my life. I fall a lot though, so so. Best Marvel situation that's went to streaming platform was Moon Knight. Oh, yeah. Tell me I'm wrong. A lot of people love Moon Knight. It was phenomenal. Yeah. I don't think it's nearly got the love that so it deserved. So I think the, the last one was uh, that Fury one. Or yeah. The Nick Fury one that was really bad, I guess. And they were talking about how yeah. Sam, they really screwed Senior Samuel Biden. Jackson. And a lot of people think that had a lot to do with like the writing. Like, a the lot ri- of people said that the writing was done by Chat GPT. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what a lot that's of people were. A lot of people were like, the writing was really, really terrible, and it was either done by Chat GPT or they were already striking in their minds and was just writing shit. Like anyway, it was just like this is terrible. Let's, well, let's here's do what this. you got to think back to, and just kind of harkens back to the previous strike that we had. You know, when was this? Early 2010s. Yeah, last rider strike. How did that end? Uh screwing the uh, last two seasons of Lost for one thing. Oh yeah. Because once and they heroes, came out right? of that strike oh yeah, heroes died yeah. completely. That is when you see Lost start going on this big huge like bugged out freaking like time lapse excursion through back in the past well, and everything nothing made fucking sense. Yeah, that was because of the That's what I'm strike. worried about too. I'm worried there'll be a spaceship on the bear in season three. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like no our restaurant's on a spaceship now. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting I'd watch to that. Yeah, I'm kind of into it. I think I'd watch it. Yeah, I, I mean, a lot of stuff's gonna get canceled, right? A lot of stuff will. Like a lot of stuff's gonna get canceled, and um, I just think there's gonna be like all the stuff that we want to come out. Marvel, it's gonna hurt Marvel really bad. Disney will probably do. You just need to put the mic in the headset on, man. Just get, just come on in. We got Monroe back here. He just crossed the picket line too. This, and- Monroe is now a scab. He crossed the picket <laughs> line, um, and he's he's back on the show. Uh, I wonder, like, what the plans are. I'd like to be like inside the. I would the love room. to like, and that's kind of one of the things. Like, are they going to make more shit? Like, I don't know. Like, are they going to make shit? Like, who's writing? Are people writing? One of my favorite shows on YouTube right now is a show called Dead Meat. 
Mm. So basically, it's a uh, husband and wife that are huge horror movie fans, and they do a specific show called The Kill Count. Yeah. And what The Kill Count is, it's like a 25, 30 minute, like just rapid fire overview of a horror movie. They'll cool. pick out a horror I like movie. That. So they'll go through and they'll highlight each of the kills in the movie. Cool. I like that. And they'll that. keep a rolling counter that at the end of it, they give like golden chainsaw to the greatest Killer. kill. That's cool. Dull blade. How many kills per minute in the movie, Link et cetera, me. et cetera. I want that. Uh, it's phenomenal. What's it called? Dead Meat is the name of the channel. The show's called The Kill Count. Shout out, Dead Meat. Kill Count. James A. Janice, I love you. You're my hero. But even they are being hindered by this. And it's, and I won't say it's a hindrance, but like they've come up with a lot of um, alerts and things like that on the channel where they're like, we're standing in unity with SAG after. Yeah. So we are not going to highlight movies that we previously had a contract with where we wanted to spotlight their movie and use yeah. them as an episode. We're not going to do that. So now they're having to look at potentially doing kills on video games and stuff like that until all of this gets settled. Man Manhunt. Do that. Yeah. Man, Lord Manhunt, we keep him busy for a while. It's the best game ever. Uh, but <clears throat> like even YouTube series are yeah. really getting impacted by this. And now. I wonder, uh, luckily we don't write anything. So, um, but I just wonder like how much it's going to affect and how I know how some YouTubers feel about it. Cause I've watched some stuff and like how, like the reactions and how they, how they feel about it, that it's like how much work they're going to put in to something mm-hmm. and, and how they feel like, I mean, I, and it's not the same, right? Because they're not SAG is not like, they're not with that. Right. No. Cause this content, like our content, things we do, but it feels like, and obviously we're a small part of that, right? I mean, we're under 30 episodes. We just got started, you know, we're new, new to, New to no, podcasting, to media platform. Mm-hmm. but but we're in that realm, right? We're in that world, and like it realm feels, adjacent, yeah, a realm adjacent, and it feels like closer for me. Like the whole thing feels closer it does. because, like, uh, like about fucking writing. Obviously, we write 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 shit for the for the show. Well, the thing is, too, is like in no way, shape, form, or fashion. Like, technically, you would coin us as this, but we're like. Attempting to be pre budding influencers. Yeah, hundred percent. I don't consider us influencers. I kill. I consider us a bunch of idiots. Fucking, we're just fucking off. Yeah, <laughs> some people. But some people happen to hear us talk. A lot of people have that pop dream, right? Yeah. So that brings in a whole another viewpoint of all this. So right now, TikTok is really a hotbed for budding influencers. People that want to obviously quit their nine follow to five. and play lunch on TikTok. I'm playing lunch podcast. <laughs> shameless plug. There's no shameless plugs. But they want to. God, Shameless was a good show. We'll come back to that. In a oh, fuck yeah. Never uh, Speaking of the bear. You've never seen Shameless? Never Save that. We're coming back. I'm literally <laughs> writing down Shameless. <laughs> right. No, you can't write. I'm not writing a script. Chat GPT. Type in <laughs> Shameless. Okay. <laughs> so. Fucking shit. We've got social media influencers right now. There's one who's getting drugged through the mud right now. His tag on TikTok is, his name's Colin. His name on TikTok is Colin Your Mom. (laughs) I mean, weedy, fucking fantastic. Got it. The dude kind of wishes at some point in the future that he would be Farley. That's his dream. Uh Oh. He's an overweight, heavier set guy, tries to do stand up. Can you do a cartwheel? No. I would, I don't know, maybe. He's been working out in previous videos that I've seen. Used to follow the guy, right? Don't follow the guy anymore. He goes on this big, huge spree of self-promotion on TikTok where it's like, hey, I've been reached out to by a couple different studios that they want to give me my own show. Like show show? Show show. They're wanting to give me my own show. Think he's lying? They, no, I don't think they're lying. I don't think he's lying at all. Here's why things happen. Movie studios right now, because of the strike, are trying to find new forms of media content. Yeah. So TikTok is a hotbed for that. It's basically a recruiting platform. So this dude's got 10 million followers. A movie studio sees that, and they're like, okay, what if we give this guy his own show? He's, he's not part of the union. people are going to watch it. He's not part of the union. So he gets really excited about it. He's like, I'm not union. I'm not a pro-union. I don't give a shit. da 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 And then all of a sudden, all of TikTok just wreaks havoc on his life. They're like, you're a scab. Yeah, because aren't you immediately? He is a scab. Aren't you immediately in the like? I thought like the actors guild was like if you're in a movie, you're in the Screen Actors Guild. I don't understand or know the full implications. I think of that. if you're a, I think if you're even an extra, I think you're in the Screen Actors. Can you guild. check it out, Monroe. We're going to treat you like a producer. Yeah, I think get in I, there. 
I'm pretty research. sure if you are ever in a movie ever, you're you're part of the SAG. It could be. That could be. The, but I know, like indie films are not. And and oh, really? If it's like, for instance, um, that's one of the things they keep coming. Like this call and your mom guy keeps bringing up Mel Gibson. Talking about the passion of the Christ and that's all these probably, different things because probably, it was not, it was self funded. It feels a whole lot like he shouldn't do that. Uh, once you've performed in a principal role on a union film, you are considered SAG union eligible. Film. So union there's film. the kicker. So this guy, they're trying to use TikTok as a recruiting Thanks, medium. medium to pull up folks, give them their own I mean, twenty minutes of fame. Kind of clever. Whatever. It's very clever. It's mm-hmm. a smart way to work around the system. But they are a scab. That being said. I don't know how I'd react. That's why I wanted to get into it. Yeah. So that was my, like, I wanted to set the stage for all that. So me and you are people that have always thrived off of entertainment media. Our ultimate dream would be to work in that realm. If given the opportunity right now, would you pass the line? Uh, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think I have any. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's where this guy I've been watching the whole entire thing kind of. I guess things are different, right? Because like if he has ten million followers, he's making money anyway. Like we he don't, is making we money. Don't, yeah. We don't make money. The only money we make pays for our publishing, right? Yeah. Like our Patreon fans mm-hmm. pay for our publishing. And so that's and so and that helps out a shit ton. Yeah. But we're not like doing anything else. Um so, like, I don't know how I would feel like we're not popular, right? And he's already popular. But here's the problem. Herein lies the problem where he's blind to, in my personal opinion. When this strike ends, what happens to him? Oh, right. Because then his channel's gone, too, probably. He, he's going to ostracize his fans. Yeah. Because, I, like, I remember at one point this dude was pushing 11 million, and he's aggressively, like, 9.8 now. Right. I was one of them. I followed him. Because and it's not so much that I don't like his contents while I followed him. He was aggressively, I'm getting my own shit. <laughs> Fuck all y'all in your union. Like Pat McAfee, but mean. Yeah. And then the next episode, it's like, listen, or his next TikTok, union doesn't apply to me. I, I never said I wasn't pro-union or anything like that. Union is great for all those people. I'm just not a part of it. I was never going to be a part of it. And then the next TikTok is him standing with a black background with a prepared speech, retracting everything and saying, oh, he's still in solidarity with sag after <laughs> Like, it's just a train wreck. I'm like, bro, you went on that limb well, you know, and it cracked. Like the Pat McAfee thing. Yeah. Um, ESPN's dead. With ESPN. Yeah, but like, I wonder if that's how that's going to be. Like, if he's going to have, you know, you know what I mean? If that's mm-hmm. there because he didn't have. They didn't. They didn't have. They couldn't write anything. I don't think that's why. My own personal opinion. I think ESPN was groundbreaking years ago with Sports Center and all of its other platforms and shows and stuff like that. But now you got to look at how sports media has evolved. Like you had McAfee on his own with his own show, pulled in millions more viewers. Yeah. Than what. Pardon my or pardon interruption was or yeah. what you know sure. first or well, you know first take or whatever the freaking and, ESPN and shows he's going to bring now. those. I mean, it's the same thing as. But that, I think that was their concern. They're yeah. like our shows are not driving that type of following. It's not the same viewership media. anymore. It's not the same media anymore. Yeah, it's like you've got some of these guys that's jumped over to HBO and Showtime. They do their one show and they get a million viewers. You know that Shannon Sharp show. I can't remember what it yeah. was called, but like they're performing better than what ESPN yeah. was. So the future is and Stephen a. what Pat podcast, McAfee did. Yeah, Stephen A. Smith's podcast does better than First Take does. It does. Yeah. It does. And his podcast is not. But it's not Pat. Yeah. So I think that's kind of a way of Disney's like I actually finally they, making sense and finally saying our archaic view of sports media is yeah. dying. We need to evolve. So let's just throw money. They at threw it. that. Yeah, they threw everything at. Yeah, it. they threw like, money at it. it. And and I reckon, pardon my take. You know that show? Mm-hmm. Pardon my take. Mm-hmm. Um, I listened to it. Like every week, and um, I reckon they had because they had uh, Barstool had their own. Mm-hmm. Had their Barstool's own another thing. thing that's changed the and, game. And Barstool had their own had their own uh, betting service, and and I, ESPN's getting in the betting game because I think ESPN signed with uh, that company that Penn Media or whatever mm-hmm. that 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 took out that owned Barstool and then sold it back to Dave Portnoy for a dollar. 
uh, because they're going to pair with ESPN and ESPN is going to do like a, a betting thing. I saw a video of Portnoy coming back into the yeah, office. Nobody, the other day. nobody was there. And he's fucking He was mad. so mad. Like, he was big like, man. What kind of show are they running here? He's like, there ain't nobody fucking here. He was like, it's one o'clock I was like, on a bro, Tuesday. Just go get you some pizza. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, there, ain't, there ain't nobody fucking here. He was mad. He was like, he was going live and like, like a, recording. He, I don't, was he expecting a parade when he got No, out? he. When he he was expecting it to be people in office working, and like and the way it was ran was not like he people wanted working it to, remotely. Yeah, people, like he that. didn't want it to be. He wanted it to be like it was, like everybody just running around the office and shit, and like things just got big, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, things are bigger than they used to be. Yeah, barstool changed. COVID the game. changed the world, though. It man. did, bro. It. I mean, it, COVID it made, tag hashtag hashtag COVID tag. Let's get us a COVID flag up. We haven't had a COVID flag since like uh, like we the tenth episode. Had one I'd like to have a good COVID flag. I like to get COVID. <laughs> I get a couple of days just, off. Of work. I'm, just, I'm looking for a COVIDcation, and I've not had one for a while. So, oh, God. listen, I don't want it because I'm finally getting ready to put my freaking kids back in school. <laughs> yeah, you can we not have COVID? No COVID. Yeah, they're gonna have no an global outbreak. pandemics. They're please. gonna have an outbreak the first week they're there. Ah, oh, that we're gonna have an outbreak of something. Keys just walked in. She's from an educational background. She's like, don't wish this bad juju on me. Yeah, she's off. She knows they're all carrying it around. Everybody's going to get sick again. My kids ain't had a stomachache all summer, but they have one tomorrow. Just nod on this. You don't have to come on the mic or anything. Is there a teacher's union? There's not. Come right? on the mic. There Whoa. is a teacher's union. Like locally, like is there a big teacher's union or is it like one of the, like. This is a great podcast. She's shaking her head yes and no. I'm just, I'm trying to get the information. I'm treating her like a producer right now, like hot mic. <laughs> That's in fine. Mayor. We don't have riders, so we're just trying to get everybody else to do it. <laughs> we finally turned Monroe's mic on because he he has things to say. Well, he's over here. Sometimes. He's just, a just pins. He's yeah. researching everything. He's a research bunny today. We we do need that. Um, my phone is on charge, and I'm so lost. I just need to bring that up. I'm not allowed that, to bring my phone in here anymore because I got yelled at by my father in law for crashing everything in his vehicle when I said, "Hey." Say it again. Just say I'm it not again. saying it again because I'll shut down everything in his car again. Okay, Google. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope that does it too. <laughs> yeah, Ryan said that last week, and uh, and evidently it shut down people's stuff. Hey, just don't listen to it that loud. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that my voice registers on everyone's. Well, everybody sounds like that. Yeah. Like it's everybody's. Like an old redneck. <clears throat> so I think... Um, since I've established that I'll cross the picket line. Yeah, uh, let's get back on that. Let's get back to that. <laughs> what about you? Would I? No. If you you if you were offered like big money right now to like take unpaid lunch. It depends on the money. So Well, yeah, fucking everything does. But no. <clears throat> if they offered you a three million dollar contract. Yeah, no, I, you, uh, you, you wouldn't cross the picket. You can go. You I do not believe you. So, no, well, here's my thing, though. If you're successful, you just sold yourself out for $3 million. I don't care to sell myself out. But what if you you were successful under the right paradigm and you're worth $300 million? You know, I don't think I'm worth $300 million. I don't either, <laughs> I, but we're playing with hypothetics here, so I I'm going to go full on hypothetic. I might do it for $300. Yeah. Dollars. Yeah. I mean, I would. Just, Fucking gas three fifty nine. Right look, now. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, it's, that everything has a price. Three million dollars. Yes. I think if if you were like, I ain't nobody gonna give me three million dollars. But well, yes, I nobody would. gonna put us on camera anyway. No. Right. There's a reason it's an audio podcast. That'd be a wide ass lens. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking just <laughs> fucking letter box lens. Put us across from each other and let us yell at each other for a while. Oh, God. Actually, they just create a whole new aspect ratio. We should do it's called unpaid lunch. It's just called it's ass dash pecked ratio. Ass pecked ratio. I think um, this show's format should probably just be me and you across from each other arguing about <laughs> shit. You're just back on pardon the interruption. Yeah, I just think I just think if if PGI. me and you if me and you yelled that like uh uh work sucks. No, it don't. Oh fuck. <laughs> Let's just go. I mean, we all agree that work sucks. It's just you got more nuts than I do when it comes to. Um, I give less fucks than you like. I give I give less fucks about stuff. I think. Um, I had a meeting the first after the first episode with uh my boss about <laughs> uh, about our social media policies, and I was like, I follow our social media policies. I know what they are. I was like, I'm. I've done my research before yeah, I, I like, put this I, first I like, episode I done, out. I've like, done my research. You know how I feel about that anyway. 
um, we'll go, we'll go viral. It's, it's just my goal is just to get you fired, and then and then we'll. Go, I'm fucking with you, but he's really, not. <laughs> it's just a little bit. You could literally just message him and say, "Man, I'm getting ready to quit my job." <laughs> And like he would get freaking rock hard. I do. It, does, it, it is. I'm super into. Like it. even if you were just joking, like he would be bricked up for at least the next 36 hours. <laughs> just, just fucking scroll through. Scroll. I scroll through TikTok at night, just watching uh, two weeks notice TikToks, just all the way through. Yes. <laughs> but back to the whole topic at hand, though, I really do think it's an interesting kind of like introspective type thing of. What would you do for fame? Because in that situation, like clearly, obviously they're in a strike. This dude, I, I, I don't fault the guy for being excited. The calling your mom guy. I don't fault him for being excited. I don't because he's probably been working towards this in his yeah, entire life. And he's probably nose blind to what's actually going on initially. Until everyone started calling him a scab. And then he got offended. And then he realized, I shouldn't have got offended and lashed the way that I did. Now I probably killed my social media career. Yeah. Maybe take the deal if you're going to kill your social media career then. I have to think you just don't say anything. Like I said, it's hard for me to put things into perspective because because of where we are with our podcast and where he's at with his. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to put things into perspective that, you know, if we did get offered something, how I would feel about it. Um. Because that's the thing now is like, like you said, like we talked about Barstool changing the game that now there's like conglomerates that mm-hmm. have podcasts under them. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? That's, mm-hmm. and that's the thing is like, uh, one company has like 10 or 11 podcasts. Well, I, f- I literally listen to two daily podcasts. They're 25 to 30 minute episodes. Uh, and they're, ba- they're built specifically sp- for independent sports franchises, not independent, but singular. Yeah. You listen to so a Cubbies one. It's like locked on is what I listen to. So yeah, I listen to locked on Cubs and locked on chargers. Right. There's one for every major sports team. Oh, cool. But they all roll up underneath one umbrella. So this, locked you on, have the yeah. locked on company, but they probably have 45, Which makes 50, sense. 60. I mean, they have one for betting. They have one for fantasy. They have one for that's everything. Cool. Yeah. And like one of my, I'm, Actually spoke to a guy quite a bit on the Chargers when I ask him all the time about how theirs is doing. Oh, okay. Him's friends on Facebook and stuff. I reckon they get like four thousand downloads every episode. Oh, so they're doing much better than we are. <laughs> better than we are. That's that's decent. Um, so I think too though, like we use. So I don't know if you know this. I don't know if everybody knows this, but we use AI for our. Uh, episode art mm-hmm. and we also use ai the synopsis on on the synopsis of the episode because it's hilarious yeah it's why i use it because sometimes it calls you a different name like it it, <laughs> it does and i don't even edit it like uh i don't even edit the synopsis because i think it's hilarious because it just says like it doesn't understand what the fuck we're saying mm-hmm. like especially when i talk fast it has no idea and it just puts a bunch of random shit um and you know that's just transcribing like so i, I don't know because uh, the transcription is all AI, and the synopsis is all AI, and the art's AI. So, I mean, I guess we're fucking, I guess we're on the other side of the argument. Oh, yeah. Because it feels a whole lot like we're uh, using AI. But we don't use AI to write anything, because all of our guests are going to be unique, and, you know, our material is generally unique. So, in general, I wouldn't sell out on it, but... My thing about selling out, and this is how I've always felt about selling out, you know, like bands are the big thing. People talk about like, oh, God, I can't believe they sold out. And I was like, is there a difference in selling out and making it? No. Like it, to make it, you have to sell out. It's toxic fandom. Yeah. Like it's it, all of it ultimately. That's comes what they were like. Pat toxic sold fandom. out. And I was like, Pat made it. Pat like, made it. didn't sell out. Like, like, well, he didn't need the money. He <laughs> made the money. Well, his boys don't make the money he made either and now they do yeah like and and that's the thing um is that you know he's taking care of everybody now yeah like we take, take care of everybody you know what i mean i would do it yeah the more i talk about it like you put it that in that type of framework well you're a family it. man right i mean like like i would do a lot for my family that's what i'm saying like yeah. and it's like you wouldn't take the money you know like you wouldn't like who gives a shit <laughs> like, but there's a way to do it you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like like him coming out immediately and going, ooh, look, I got this shiny new toy. Yeah. Don't do that. 
just go build your show. Let it come out. Do your freaking, you know, social media marketing campaign thereafter. Yeah, it seems a whole but lot now, of bad. Now he's getting bad publicity. Is that studio, even though he is a scab, still going to launch his platform? Want now? him, yeah. No. True. Now they might because of the controversy. That might be, you know, good publicity. And he killed his social media platform. But now he's lost yeah. probably 1.2 million followers. So you got to be intelligent and weigh it. It's kind of the same and conversation currency, we had last right? week. Like 1.2 yeah. million followers is that's, that's money. That's, that's downloads. In, yeah, that's, that's views. Dollars. That's likes. That's a lot of money, probably, that he's foregoing at that point. But it, like, it kind of comes back to the, what we discussed in the last episode. It's like, hey, you know, you could buy a town if you won that $1.5 billion, you know, yeah. mega million or whatever. You better do it the right way. Yeah. Because if you go out and just say, well, it's like $800 million. And your kid, kid's kidnapped tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you probably lost a brake line. You've got family members that you've not talked to since the Korean War coming out saying, man, I missed you so much. Well, I wonder, my house. So uh, Post Malone bought that magic card. Yeah. I wonder that dude was like on camera. Like, I wonder if that, I mean, that guy's just walking around with $2 million. Mm-hmm. Like 2.7. Mm. I'm telling you, I come into that type of money. I'm going like incognito. Oh, yeah. You'd never see me again. I'm disappearing. When all spaceship. Buy a spaceship. My $800 million, I'm making movies. Or I'm going to go like full on Pat Mahomes and buy a shitty MLB team or something. Like, That'd be cool. Is that a dream job for you? Oh, oh yeah. Own an MLB team. Oh, yeah. Is it GM My, one? Minority owner or something. I, well, I don't even yeah. know what the verbiage is for that, but yes. Yeah. Just own part of it would be great. I'd be perfectly fine with that. Yeah. I think, um, like I said, selling out is like, that's what it would be. And I guess that's the whole thing, right? Is like, um, cause a lot of it's about AI and a lot of it. And if you're going to get, if you're, if you're not going to have the work because something else can do it for you, look, man, Paul Walker has been dead a few years and has been in multiple <laughs> movies. Right? Example. So that's, that's a big thing that they're talking about is like, uh, likeness. Right. Well, it's not just him. Carrie Fisher. I'm, right. Carrie Fisher. And then I think about, they did it, uh, in the nineties in the street fighter movie. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was nineties. Maybe was, I think it was nineties. It was nineties. Late nineties. With, the late uh, 90s. With the guy from the Adams family that played uh, in Bison, in Bison, mm-hmm. and he died like of liver cancer or whatever in the mm-hmm. middle of the of screening, and they finished it with a with AI or well, not with AI but with with CGI. Like yeah. it was his likeness. I mean, my, my, I mean it's the same equivalent. We, we weren't what calling we're it AI right at the time. I mean, right? it's AI. Yeah, I mean whatever. CGI, and they finished AI, it with his likeness. It's, it's tomato tomato in this type of situation. And they signed, like they said, Paul Walker's going to be in the next. Like he's going to he's going to do it again. Like they're not him, I guess, but he's going to do it again. Like it's I've not crazy. watched one since fast five. Well, I've only watched the clips like of the new one with Paul Walker in it. And I know they're talking about doing that. Like at some point we're just going to have actors in movies and, and they're not actually in them. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess voices, I don't know. How but right now you got to think Hollywood's painting this as well. It's a ode to their memory. Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's, it's, it's they're it's, saving money. Yeah. You want to put, uh, that's why we're Robin Williams strike. in a movie. That's why we're having this strike. Yeah. That's why we're having it. And I feel like, um, this is one time where I don't think the actors have like an upper hand. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I think like a lot this, of the time they do a lot of time. They're the power player, but the studio's like, Hey, we're just going to use AI. Like, Hey, whether you show up or not, we're going to use AI. We're just going to write shit with AI. And like, I'm curious to see how like Deadpool turns out. Cause Deadpool did Deadpool stall. The, I, the think every, I think everything's stalled right now. I didn't remember. I don't think, think they got the to the House you know, of the Dragons. Is House still filming. Oh, House of Dragons is still filming. Yeah. yeah. So that that shit's um, not going to get done. Mm-hmm. And uh, Deadpool's not going to get done. I know Deadpool. They were going to try to do it, but they couldn't improvise at all. Right? There's no improv at all. Mm-hmm. And they're like Ryan Reynolds is just not. It's not going to be good if he doesn't get to improv. No. I wonder He's if because they, they tried it. They filmed like one day or something with. With it, and I wonder if he was like trying to improv so much they were like, oh, there's a lot it? of things that AI can and should do. Uh, like I think the synopsis part for us is fantastic. Could do we, my job. We want to use it because we don't want to do that part. Yeah, right. so I'm 100 percent fine with that. But like when you have people at the union who's been writing and pinning movies for years, like one of my favorite writers of all times, Kevin Williamson. 
huge, huge Scream fan. You ain't going to find a lot of people in this world that loves the franchise more than me. Yeah, you do love Scream. I love it. Man went on. I mean, fuck, he done Dawson's Creek, which, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm not a Dawson's <laughs> Creek Yo, fan. I love Dawson's Creek. I got no shame. He done The Faculty. Oh, Faculty rocks. I know what you did last it's summer. It's like dark Dawson's Creek. It is. They all are, really. Yeah. It, like, if you want to put it in that perspective. But, like, I love his writing and his take. Like, his camp and what he done in the screen movies to be able to bring the, like the whole entire genre flipped back on its head and looking at itself and poking fun. AI is not going to do that. Yeah. That's nuanced. That's not going to happen with AI. So, I, I mean, I could be wrong. AI just may, <laughs> it may be able to do that. I don't know, but I, that's it's pretty impressive. It's incredibly impressive. That's why I kind of wish we had Andrew today. Just kind of be able to speak to those pieces. We'll get him to touch on it next week. And we'll have to bring it back up and kind of, yeah. Because I'd like to see, you know, his viewpoint on all of that. But I guess the ultimate uh, thing to take away from today's show is don't be a scab. Don't be a bitch. Unless it's... Don't be a scab unless it's a ton of money. (laughs) Unless it's going to change your life. (laughs) Always take the money. (laughs) Always take the money. Always chase the bag. In closing, that's the part that bothers me is... Before we go, yeah, Monroe's not seen Shameless. Oh, Oh, shit. Yeah, we got to get back. So why have you not watched this show? Never is it like this. Avatar with this piece of shit over here? Like, it's just, uh, it was too popular. I, I don't want to watch it. I just never uh, wanted to really watch it. Uh, super fan of ours, Willie, yeah. uh, reached out to me and was like, yo, I've never seen Avatar either. Oh he was like, I don't God. get the hype. Well, you don't get the hype if you've not seen it. <laughs> He's fucking, like I said, at this point, um, that's just, that's just, I can't watch it. It's you would late. love Shameless. I feel like I would. Though. It's pretty solid. It's just, you have homework. Sometimes not it's too watch- late, though. Watch the pilot. Watch the pilot of Shameless. Have you watched The Bear? Yes. It's what's the actor's the name? Season, I um, I don't know his name because I'm it's not a lit from Shameless. Mm-hmm. He's phenomenal. He's phenomenal and Shameless. You will he love has pretty it. Pretty eyes. Watch it. Hey, he's he's a dreamboat. Yeah, he's yeah. yeah. True. He's a dreamboat. I'd cross the picket line for him. And in this, he's freaking Chicago trash. I like it. It doesn't get any hotter than that, yeah, man. I'm just saying it's pretty hot. Mm. Something about Chicago. I, I, that's why I like it. I, although they're all freaking Sox fans, and it's like South Side of Chicago, yeah, not yeah, North yeah. Side where my heart is. But you know, it is what it is. That's fine. But kind of like it, we were going back to right in closing, you got to weigh what it's worth, right? Because going into this, if you decide, hey, I'm going to cross this picket line, I'm going to make my millions. You better make sure there wasn't millions, millions more on that other side. It's weird too, because Absolutely. like. They're not going to know you crossed the picket line for years. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not going to, like, stuff's going to come out. Oh, and, dude, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be out there. Yeah. It, I mean, there's probably more undercover narcs going on in those types of situations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, so is TMZ it just... TMZ everywhere. It's, I, I wonder, is it like a, like cameramen and lighting men, too? Are they the same? It's are everything. They, yeah. yeah, it's everything. Like, you name it. Lighting men. People like, cut, chop, edit, everything. Yeah. It it's like a mild. Yeah, maybe I'll just be looking for a job now. If we've established that I'll cross the picket line for money. I apologize. Not for just like normal money though. I'm not a terrible person. All right, fucking this is a good show, everybody. Awesome. Yeah. Listen, you're still on strike. Listen, oh. social media platforms, TikTok. We don't do the Facebook. Fuck meta. Um TikTok, Instagram, make sure you guys follow us there. Make us TikTok famous. That way it kind of puts us in a situation where we have to decide between money and our <laughs> fandom. We want to make the Toxic situation in our favor. So definitely go there, do that. Patreon, check that out. We're going to try to be adding new content there as quickly as possible. But yes, good You're show. way better at that than I am. Am I? Yeah, I feel like that was much better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> that was much better than mine. Did you get AI to write that? I did. It's, it's actually, yeah. It's right All right. Here. You do this part then. <laughs> no, this is you. All I can't right. take this one. Well, y'all got anything else? That's it. All right, y'all. Remember, that nobody stopping you from quitting your job. But you...